Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to combine some chord properties and the Pythagorean theorem to find some unknown lengths in a circle. Okay, so this question says that we have a circle with center O, and it has a diameter of 60 centimeters. And then it says there's a chord with a length of 20 centimeters, and our job is to find out how far the chord is from the center of the circle. Okay, so I'll draw some things in here. Put the cord here. And you can put the cord anywhere. And that's 20 centimeters. I'll call that AB, maybe because we'll probably have to refer to that. And we know that the diameter is 60 centimeters. So one thing I'm going to do right away um, if the whole diameter is 60 centimeters, and I remember, notice that I drew that passing through the center, then each half of it is going to be half. So this is 30, and this is 30. Okay, now right now it looks like we don't have much to go on. But remember, the trick with these problems is always, you almost always want to draw in a radius. Um, so, right here, if we draw this radius here, we know that it's also 30, because the radius of the circle is 30. Okay, we could also draw an OB, but I don't think we'll need it. Okay, so the question is how far is the chord from the center of the circle? So that means how far is it from O down and perpendicular to the chord? The distance from a point to a line, the shortest distance is always going to be perpendicular to the line. For example, if I went here, I think it would be obvious that this isn't the distance to the line. It's shorter if we go perpendicular. Okay. So I'll draw that in. I'll try to sketch it perpendicular. Okay. And now, hopefully you just thought, oh, we have a theorem about that. We know that if a line goes through the center of the circle and is perpendicular to the chord, we know it bisects that chord. So that tells us that this half here and this half here are equal. Okay, so then we have that this is 10 centimeters, just from, uh, let's call this uh, C. From A to C is 10 centimeters. And how far is the chord from the center of the circle? So that's what we want to find out. So now we're good here, actually. We can, we've got, this is a right triangle in here, too. We can just use Pythagorean theorem on triangle OAC. So we'll have the OA squared, that's the hypotenuse, equals AC squared plus uh, C, OC, OC squared. Okay, so 30 squared equals 10 squared plus, uh, let's give this, call that x, x squared. So if 900 equals 100 plus x squared, if we subs subtract 100 from both sides, we get the 800 equals x squared. So to isolate x, I'll square root both sides. And we have x equals root 800. Now sometimes the question will ask you for a decimal approximation, and it'll tell you how to round it. Uh, but here I'm going to continue and simplify this radical. So I need to find the largest uh, perfect square that's a factor of 800. Um, 100 is sort of an obvious perfect square that's a factor of 800. Um, and if you took out a factor of 100, uh, you'd get a simpler radical, but then you'd see that there was also still a factor of 4 left. So if we notice right away, 800, 400 is a perfect square, it's 20 squared, and 800 is 400 times 2. So make sure you remember to write that 800 is root, f root, 800 is root 400 times root 2. And then root 400 is the same as root 20. So, our question was to find how far the chord is from the center of the circle, 
And that's x. And here's our answer for x. So we'll write that in a sentence. Chord is 20 root 2 centimeters from the center of the circle. There we go, that's it. Uh, so just remember, usually the keys with this is often you'll have to draw in a radius somewhere. Um, and usually if you go from the center out to the edge of a chord, that's often useful. Um, and then remember we have a theorem that says if a line goes through the center of the circle and is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects that chord. So that was what let us know that this 20 was 10 here and 10 here. Okay, good luck.